Afternoon, it's Carl. Just thought I'd do a quick video just because doing some of the books, checking through them, I was just like, wow, a lot of old ones, a lot of very interesting ones, and other newer ones that some are valuable, some aren't valuable, but interesting. So I thought I'd make a quick video just to show them and see if you want to maybe keep your eye out for uh, for some. Here we got um, the Illustrated Dictionary of Gardening, an encyclopedia of horticulture. That's a set of four. Um, just a nice, decent design there. Quite old. I'm not sure exactly of the year. I haven't looked at it too much. But excellent condition. No, no date. But um, yeah, great condition. Again here, this is <coughs> the Glastonbury Lake Village. Um, just old, great books with... I don't know what sort of about pottery and stuff there. Loads of different stuff, but just really interesting books. Ah, here's one. <coughs> this. <coughs> Very old looking thing. Sealed with rope. It's from um, 1686. And it's a Bible, I believe, yeah. So, so old. Um, you know, a lot of the pages are really, you know, you can see there, it's it's quite damaged, so to say. But um, at 1686, you would expect it to be in this sort of condition, really. Um, just absolutely magnificent. Look at that. Uh, it's not the greatest condition, and there are some good condition books from that age out so I don't think it'd be worth much but just you know blew me away seeing that really interesting over here I've had so many of these old books outline of English architecture um, but loads you can see loads different um, the house at Pooh Corner a nice one general engineering workshop practice Huckleberry Finn a lot of just classics Old um, non-fiction books, needlework and crafts. Whole set of um, Biggles books there. So they, I need to go through them. You know the the vintage books like that. I just pile up for now. But here's a pile of some things that were really interesting. The Gospels in Art from 1904, which is lots of pictures and artwork to do with Jesus and a story about them. Um, again, just looks interesting. You don't see many of these around. Sorry, Guinness Book of World Records. I think this is the second one, second one ever, fifty-nine or something like that. Uh, if I can find it, it was on. An early page. I did see it earlier. I think it's uh, 1958 or 59, something like that. I think it was the second one. So, again, quite interesting. Minor arts and industries, drawing and designing from 1893. And it's, uh, again, just an interesting... To have a quick flick through, I'm not going to sit here and read the whole thing, but uh, the sort of lessons and see how things have changed over 100 years. We bought an island. This, I just thought, I'll have a read of this. This is the story of two women. A funny original endearing book for daydreamers and nine to fivers everywhere. Uh, they basically bought an island. So forget Richard Branson who's doing it. These done it before. They bought an island off the coast of Cornwall. Two women. And uh, yeah, I just thought it'd be quite an interesting read. And it is signed by Evelyn Atkins, the author. Not that it's going to make a difference to the value, but... I thought someone who's bought an island like that and uh, just to see what they've done with it. Really interesting. Wouldn't we all love an island? The Modern Marvels Encyclopedia. Wonders, Marvels, Curiosities. I'm not sure of the year again. Um, doesn't have a year, but just very interesting to see what um, you know what life was like back there and what they were thinking about things and how technology that obviously we take not take for granted but technology that we don't even blink at now was you know absolutely amazing back then uh sisters bronte 
Bronte says so Jane Eyre Volume One. This is, I think, a second edition. Um, I did see it somewhere where it said. I'm sure it's. Uh, I'm sure it was a second edition of um, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. So, excellent book. Again, not sure if it's worth much. A lot of them aren't. I thought some of them might be, but I think it's only really first editions that are worth some there. But just interesting. How to run a bassoon factory and business for pleasure. It's got all the dust jacket on. And it's just got about yeah, how to run it how to run a factory. And how to organise everything. Welfare or happy families. But a bassoon factory is quite um random and it's just in great condition. Got the dust jacket and stuff. Kenneth Branner, nothing too amazing, but um, autobiography, signed, and not personalised, so it might add a little bit on. National Geographic magazines from nine, March 1964, no great value, but just interesting how we plan to put men on the moon, and uh, yeah, just, you know, talking about how they plan to do things here, the trip to the moon. And this was obviously five years before they'd done it. So that could be interesting to have a look and see if it's, they actually done it like that. Just random things I keep getting. Colouring book. Great Smoky Mountains National Park colouring book. Just, you know, love it. An old Habitat catalogue. 1974 annual catalogue, 20p. And some of the prices are, uh, are more expensive than things you'd buy now. Like from Ikea and stuff anyway. But... Just really interesting. Like some of these £27.50 for, I think, this desk, which you can get from Ikea for probably similar. But, um, yeah, 1974 catalogue. Not sure of any value again. What's that? Oh, there's a child's drawings that they've done. Woof, woof. Uh, an old Black Beauty dust jacket. All intact. Excellent condition. So, decent little find. London in colour. There's been a lot of older books with the dust jackets, and often you you won't have the dust jackets in good condition. But these are just I don't know if they all came from the same person. Another vintage Guinness Book of Records. I think it was mid late sixties. This one, uh, nineteen sixty nine. This Rags to Riches: The Rise and Rise of Oxford United. Excellent condition book, but this was. Um, it was a gift. Greetings and best wishes for a happy Christmas and prosperous new year to you and your family from Robert Maxwell. I looked at a bit in here. Maxwell, oh yeah, and it's uh, he was one of the he was the chairman back in the day at some point. So um, he gave this out as a gift to people, and it's been kept in really good condition. Um, here is a whole bunch of observer books but so many of them in excellent condition with dust jackets i know some of them can have a little bit of value the rest you can bundle up but the book of the countryside aircraft aircraft from two different years observer book of larger moths horses and ponies birds british grasses sedges and rushes um freshwater fishes again wild animals with no but Look at these, the Observer Book of Automobiles. What a picture. Forward by Sterling Moss. And again, more just with, I haven't seen any with dust jackets like this. The Observer's Book of Aircraft. Aircraft again from a different year. Another automobiles, a different year. Aircraft again. British Geology. Observer's Book of Cats, Birds, Eggs. So that's a great find. And then this, um, no resale value, I doubt. Um, not just yet, anyway. But um, really, really interesting. To so, uh, Mr. Frank Stahl. Um, it's dated. I don't know if the date is on here. No. But I thought, what's this? Opened it up. And it is um, a birth certificate of a man born in 1875. Um see his name, Johann Stahl. His dad was Franz Stahl. Um, born there, 1875. 
and that's his original birth certificate. So that's quite interesting. And then there's something else here. And I thought, what was this? This is dated 1918. Um, and what he's done is he's changed his name by deed poll. His father, Fran Stahl, became Frank Stahl. Um, whether it's you know 1918, end of the First World War, didn't want a German sounding name, maybe. Um, or settling over here, so didn't want, um, you know, wanted to sound a bit more of an English name. But here is uh, his son, I think, Frank. Uh, I the undersigned John Stuhl. He's changed his name from John Johann Stahl. I think he went to John Stahl, and now he's going to John Stuhl. And this is all the documents of when he also changed his name by deed poll. 11th of February 1918 and yeah this was just in, a, in an envelope with his original birth certificate from 1875 and I just thought interesting definitely worth just you know having a, having a look googling his name seeing if anything comes up any stories about him um, and see what happens if you can't find anything no worries it's not like I paid any money for it but just a really interesting uh, bunch of finds today that's about it quick video 10 minutes 11 minutes not too bad. I'll uh, speak to you all later. If you want me to talk about anything again, like, comment, share. And uh, here's the view of the unit. It's a little bit tidier, but still lots to sort through. All the soft toys haven't even opened the plush bags. Um, I know I got one with Barney in yesterday. I don't know where it is. Um, all the kids' books piled up to be sorted still. So it's quite quite messy, but I know where everything is. Uh, I better get back to it now, so until then, I will speak to you soon. Cheers.